Gladys Diaz is up next. Hello. I'm Gladys Diaz and I'm a Heart Seas Iron International and usually I work with women, empowering them to create the relationships of their dreams. And I'm so excited about being here with both men and women tonight to tell you how to ignite your love life. Because if you're alive, and you are, you probably share something in common with practically everyone in the world, and that's the desire to love and be loved. We all think about that person we're gonna connect with and commit to for the rest of our lives. Unfortunately, there's a lot of misinformation out there about what you can do to have the type of relationship that you want. And there's a lot of pain and effort and hard work associated with relationships. So it's no wonder why some people are afraid to commit. It's no wonder with 50% of first marriages, 60% of second marriages, and 70% of third marriages ending in divorce, it's not a surprise that most people tell me, I don't want to get married because I don't want to get divorced. But I'm here to tell you that it is possible to have a loving, passionate, intimate relationship that lasts for the rest of your lives. And you don't have to know the rules or play the game to do it either. You, but you do need to have a few things in mind. One of them, men and women are different. Men are not taller, hairier versions of, men, of women. They're actually different. We think differently, we talk differently, and we relate to each other and sex very differently. Another thing is that you do need a certain set of skills in order to have a great relationship. And that's what I'm gonna talk about for the rest of the presentation, give you some real practical skills that you can start using tonight, there's a lot of men and women in the audience, <laughs> to, to really ignite your love life. So you can create and attract the relationship you want or nurture the one you already have. First tip is for women on a date, be present. See, men go out on dates, women go out on relationships. So you wanna be present and actually check in with yourself. Is this someone I wanna go out with again rather than is he gonna call me? Be authentic, be yourself. Some of us are exhausted after a two hour date because we've been pretending for two hours. Relax. Be yourself, that's who you want the other person to fall in love with anyway, right? And then you wanna have integrity. Say what you'll do and do what you said. Guys, if you say, I'll call you tomorrow, she believed you, okay? She's waiting, <laughs> pick up the phone and give her a call, text her, let her know you're thinking about her. Now communication, oh, wait a minute. Women, we talk a lot more than men, so I'm gonna give you a brilliant tip Keep it to headlines and bullet points, okay? He doesn't want the drama, he doesn't want the details, he just wants the information, right? Yeah. <laughs> Keep it simple. And guys, this one's for you. When she's crying and she's upset and she's venting, I'm gonna say something that goes against the very nature of your being. Don't try to fix it. Don't give her suggestions, she's gonna get mad at you. Just listen, that's all she wants you to do is to listen. And ladies, when you say what you want, Create an invitation instead of an obligation. Instead of telling him all the things he's not doing, tell him what you want, step out of the way. Men want to please women, okay? So thank him when he does. Oh, sex. Women are like slow cooking crock pots. Men are like pressure cookers. Cool to I'm about to blow in just a few minutes, right? So guys, spend the time prepping and marinating and the cooking will be worthwhile, okay? And women are more complicated when it comes to sex, right? <laughs> Guys, off on. Women more complicated, but it's not because we're high drama or high maintenance. It actually turns out to be biological. See, there's a hormone called oxytocin that's known as the bonding hormone. Both men and women release it during sex, particularly during climax. Men are at the effect of it for two to three hours after sex. Women, two to three days. Hence the clinging effect, right? So if I had to summarize two words that capture what it takes to make a great relationship, love and respect. Guys, women want to know that they are loved, cherished, and adored by the men they love. And ladies, men want to know that they are admired, respected, and appreciated. When a woman feels loved and cherished, she responds with respect and admiration. When a man feels admired and respected, he responds with tender loving, care, right? So we wanna keep in mind, we wanna create a nice cycle, a loving cycle, where both of us are winning instead of me trying to prove I'm right and you're proving that I'm wrong and neither one of us is winning. I've given you some real practical tips. If we can accept and embrace each other instead of trying to fix and change each other, we're on our way. So it's up to you, Miami, now you know how to date, communicate, and relate to the opposite sex. Get out there and ignite your love life. <laughs>